Hi guys, I'm Rob from Curry's and I'm going to take you through three ways you can use NFC on your mobile. First, using it to pay for your shopping or services. Second, how to store and use your paperless tickets. And third, sharing your photos, videos and documents. No matter what phone you have, if it was made in the last couple of years, it's likely that it has an NFC chip, which is the same tech that is used in contactless cards. So it makes sense that it will allow you to pay for things like you would with your bank card. All you need to do is add your debit and credit cards to your phone. So if you use an iPhone, simply head to the settings and go to Wallet and Apple Pay where you can add your card. If you use a Samsung or an Android phone, you'll need to download Samsung Pay or Google Pay and follow the instructions. No matter what method you use, the setup is easy and it's safer than using a card because NFC can be set up to require additional security like a fingerprint, a password or face ID to authorise payment. Gone are the days of needing to keep all your tickets for every festival, flight or train journey as paper copies and then not being able to find them when you need them. With NFC on your phone, you're able to book all your travel and events, then download it onto your phone so it's available whenever you need it, as long as you've got your phone with you. Then, when you do need them, simply load up your ticket, then it's ready to be scanned for entry at the gates to the station or the event. No matter what you want to share, whether it's photos, videos or documents, it's so simple with NFC when you're with the person you want to share it with. All you need to do is select what you want to share, tap to share with nearby devices, and then place those devices next to each other, and that's it, file shared. If you want to get more info on how to get the most out of your tech, visit us in-store, online, or chat to one of our experts on ShopLive.